Hey guys, this is Xbox One Gaming 500. We're in the butch scrapyard. I'm gonna attempt repairing the snowplow. That part of the snowplow could become the handles. That be that could push the snow. Just remember, I've done a video. But down here is a bit rotten of wood. So here's my scrapyard. It's flooded a little by surface water. It has flooded a little. It always does that. There must be some sort of dip here some, somewhere. I never even felt a dip. Yes, but flooded. Over here is fine. Down here is a bit flooded. So, we're going to attempt. Oh, goodness, there's nails. Nails on the ground. You believe it, guys. Pick them up. Right. Let's attempt, sorry, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but attempt repairing the snow plow. You see them handles there? They're going to be taken off, because there's really no use for them. But there's no really use for the, isn't there use? So yeah, let's just get this thing restored. It isn't a proper restoration, but it's just like a turn off. Let's knock off the handles first. Oh, landed right in the puddle. Another one. Right, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Pretty sure I can. Just bring the tripod in a bit. This is tripod in the ground and the iPad's on the tripod. Oh. And if my friend is watching, shout out to him for giving me the phone. I don't have to go out shopping now. Since I saw one for £115 an iPhone. No point in getting that because I've already got the phone but I may have to change it pretty soon because, well, the charger's a bit acting up, you know. Oh, dear. See, you have to, like, wrap the, the wire around the phone for it to charge. It's a weird thing, but most of the time I can get it, you know, get it to charge. So, it's, if my best friend says that it's going to take all day to pretty much charge 100%, it's quite slow. He gave me an R phone that's like no use. He gave me them both for free. So yeah, he says he's got too many phones and he just wants some away. Like one that half works and one that's completely broken. It's one I just play with, you know. Right. So make sure this iPad lets you hang it on because the tripod is not the best ever. Right. Let's get back to work. will hopefully be our new um you know new blade would you call it for the snowplow you know it's just to push the snow it feels uh, it feels very sturdy so it shouldn't you know break like the R one did so yeah let's hope for the best guys hope for the best oh. get nails out of this big this piece of wood like 
this bad boy doesn't look too bad. Remember, it's a very small width, so we need a wider one. Oh, that wood is so cold. That's where the wood goes guys. See that bit of wood there is a bit broken. Oh, 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 tones are sliding in. That bit of wood there is coming off a bit. Yep, there we go. Yeah, it's pretty much rotten, to be honest. have to get them nails out somehow. Anyway, let's continue, guys. Continue with the video. As many people at school are saying, they want the wood scrapyard back, so here it is. Comment, like, and subscribe as always. Good comments now. Good comments. And positive comments, really. Something like that. Oh. Uh, these orange nails are a bit tricky, guys, because I've no heads on them. This snow plow will be kept in the shed, it's nice and dry. So I'm trying to guess the width of that. Cold out here today. Yep, here's a thing that's gonna push the snow. Yeah, very sturdy. Oh, oh, I thought that was a bed moving. It's a whole snow plow moving. It's a whole thing moving. Now, I hold it with my arm. Yeah, really sturdy. And there's my idea there. So it can go. Yeah, I'm sure pushing it now with my strong muscles. Yep, let's get the snow plow out of there. Have to enter the flood again. See, if you guys are watching, like if you guys go to my school and I've been telling you about 
this, you guys will know what I'm talking about. It's probably not a complete flood, but somewhere just got submerged. Yeah, an old French post. What am I going to use with it? With a rotten bottom up of it. I just found it at the side of the road one day. Decided to take it off the side of the road. Was it? Well, it is wood, but I don't know what it's going to be useful for. Now I go. Does it stand? Nope. <laughs> no, it doesn't stand. It's only rotten wood. Well, it's not rotten, though. It's a bit old. You know what I mean? So, guys, let's just give it a quick test just on pure concrete. Set that there till it gets on. iPad's on the tripod. Not allowed to see my mum's license plate, obviously, on her car. Not allowed. Let's see. Let's give this a. It's only a quick test. Like, it should be this way. There we go. It certainly feels a lot more sturdy. The other one was like really wet. So now we're going to have a trip over to the shed. Right, I'll have to leave the tripod over here. Which is alright, because no one... Well, no one's going to see it. And no... Well, uh, usually on a Sunday, no one usually goes down this road. Um, only farmers usually. You have to get them signs back up again. But well, so no one's going to know I like the word scrapyard. They're just gonna think it's just an, ab ab an abandoned falling building neck. It's fun. It never had a roof. I didn't put a roof on it. I tried it one time. A bit too low. Didn't have any other bricks. Yeah. The roof is lost. I have not seen it in probably two years ago, guys, when I last saw it. Right. Put it beside the weed cutter. So it's about time, oh jeepers, it's about time that I service the wood colour. Right, the weed colour, here it is. We're using it soon. That bit of wood there is just to keep in a nail, I think. That one's sturdy and that one fairly sturdy. Three planks of wood, that one's for... That, that one's like for, uh, yes, sort of to hold the, na the nail in, sort of, or the blade. And then this bit of wood just keeps the blade in, that third bit here. Yep, it'll be used soon. So it's past its little service. It's only like a mini service, like it's only really small. Now for my wooden chair. I seem to have fallen apart. Oh, well, it's just fell over. Because you can see it's like a seaside chair because I put on some shells on it to make it like, you know, what would you call it? So decorating it. Yeah, it can fold up so it's not really broken. And then like that. Yeah. Don't like this when I go to the ground, so it's like a wobbly chair. But I wouldn't recommend a real person sitting on it. <laughs> Buzz, you'll fall through that bit of wood and that bit of wood like I did one time trying to test it. So yeah. I wouldn't recommend doing that guys. It's supposed to be like a foldable chair, it's not fully foldable. Not really. Yeah. There we go. That's what you can use wood for. Any wood lying about. That snow plow looks so good now. Right, for the signs. The signs need to be put back up. I don't know if I should place the tripod and the stones, because if you guys remember that video I did, remember that, you know, it's such a nice video. Remember, I broke part of the tripod. Yeah, I broke that part because it's pretty much jammed. That broke off. Very unfortunate. And now, I'm keeping this tripod, guys. I can keep it until it, like, stops standing. Like, that's when it gets really old. And probably a bit broken. I know it's a bit broken, like, that part where it holds the iPad. But it's not, it's not that serious. And goodness me. So that 
tripod gonna stand? I, I don't know if I should risk it. Uh, I don't think so. Whoa! Good job, Ricardo. Right. You'll have to stay over from the concrete then. It's really windy over here, guys. It's so windy. It's really windy. Right. Let's see if you guys can see. Yeah. I'm trying to keep you out of the wind because the wind's really strong today. It's not strong, it's strong. Yes. guys can just view the entrance and the sign is a six story guy, that's good. Just give that not a sheet. Oh yes, I don't know what I should do in this video, but oh. if I can put it up here, it feels like there's no wind up here. It's basically on a step. Basically on a step for the patio door. Sort of come in here a bit. Oh, very strong wind over there. And over here is like really calm, so you guys are gonna be fine. If you guys comment or like or subscribe, I should really do like and subscribe. If you've already subscribed, do a like, do a comment if you want, and then you guys will be awesome. Right. Let's go. Guys, there we go. Part of the wooden sign is breaking a bit. I see, yeah, that's part of it. And when I put down the brick, this fell off it. Oh, the brick has seen better days. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. Till next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now, guys.